Remember that time that I said um, we don't want to destroy the spawner, so we need to be very careful of where we shoot. Um, shooting from the side is probably the best option. Not trying to shoot over the top like that. Hey, what's up fam? I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm having an amazing day. Uh, today we are playing some Valheim. Now, I've been playing this game quite a lot the last few weeks. If you haven't seen, I've been streaming it a lot on twitch.tv forward slash fly underscore diggity. If you wanted to come hang out with us whilst playing Valheim, you're more than welcome to. Come join the family. But today, I actually wanted to show you guys a bit of a farm that um, I kind of took out of proportion. Um, I got the whole concept from a really good friend of mine um, called Sansquanch007. Um, all of my links I'll leave below in the description below. So yeah, enough talk, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, what we want to do is first eat some food, obviously, um, because we're going to be doing a lot of running around. Uh, but this is what we're looking for, a dwarf spawner. Um, now first we want to make sure that we've got our workbench prepped and ready to go on our hammer um, for when we have to run around. <laughs> Stupid doors. But yeah, let's jump down here and just wipe them out. See, I can just wipe them out pretty easily with my porcupine. Uh, here we got a brute that we're going to wipe out. Alright, now that we've got the brute out of the way, we'll just continue to wipe them out. We've got another brute. It's <laughs> quite a bit of brutes. But yeah, uh, it was just night time, so there would have been a few stragglers, hence why there was so much grey dwarfs around. But now now it should be all just spawners now. Um, now we can find a nice close place to put down the workbench. Um, I'll keep that grey dwarf around. We want to find the angle of the ground, so what I'm doing right here is just digging down. Um, just so we can see which which way our grain ground is facing because that's going to help um, Later on with digging as I will show you uh, But yeah while I dodge these green dwarves oh, We got another brute I'll Try and kill him off before we start uh, Should be pretty easily Yeah, see Great great dwarves ain't too bad um, it's just the brutes and the big big guys, but yes Let me just double check to see which way the ground's going Okay, it's going that way. So if I try and line it up this way not move my mouse So I know which way the ground's facing now. I'll try and find the center. I want the left side To be the center um, Because we're gonna go two walls wide here Um and then I just need to double check again, see which way my ground's going. Um, try and keep it, trying to keep the inside wall flush. Um, but yeah, it does get annoying with these little grey dwarfs just throwing rocks at you and slapping you around. It makes it quite hard to place, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. We're gonna, I'm gonna try my best to do two walls wide. Gonna let me? Nope. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. We're almost done with this part, I should say. All right, so that's the inside wall done, <laughs> and I've accidentally <laughs> trapped one in there. All right, not a good thing. Not a good thing. So the reason why I'm doing this in the first place um, is this inside wall is gonna prevent the gray dwarfs, or it's actually the the brutes that deal damage to the spawners so yeah I kind of want to get him out of there <laughs> um, it should be fine it should be fine but yeah I'm, I'm just gonna get him out of there anyway just in case a uh, bit of rough building but it's okay so yeah enemies can't jump up to me from here so they can't really hurt me Um, we don't want to destroy the spawner, so we need to be very careful of where we shoot. Um, shooting from the side is probably the best option. Not trying to shoot over the top like that. Let's see if I can pop to the other side. Just get him out of there. Um, there we go. 
Yeah, I wasn't inside the radius, so you got to be inside the radius. Make sure your workbench is nice and close. Um, we're we're gonna expand it later, but at the moment, I just want to get these walls done. While I'm getting slapped around by these greed wolves. Alright, now that I've got the walls all nicely done, this is the area that we're going to be working with. Now that I've got them out of the way, I can just go ahead and kill those guys on the outside. Um, these inside guys though, as long as we're not in sight of the Great Wolves or any type of enemy, um, they won't really attack. Um, so yeah, I'm right next to them. I can, like, if I want to upgrade my sneak damage, you can farm your sneak, your sneak skill by sneaking next to the fence and having them on the other side. Um, but this is the, this is the fence we're going to work with at the moment. Um, but yeah, the... This is, yeah, this is obviously our range that we're working with, so we've got an inside wall to protect the spawner, and then we've got the outside walls so they don't get out. Um, so I'm just going to enclose them in like so, um, just so I could um, just make sure they're, they're like, they're not moving around and they're not interrupting me while I'm doing some more work, so I'm just going to build up here. Lay some more walls down. Make little cubicles just in case they respawn again. Now I've actually got all my cubicles prepped and ready to go. Um, I know exactly where they are. It's good that they're like in a nice little um, corner of where I'm trying to build all together. Um, so what we want to do now is build like a Union Jack. And just aim it at the corners so it all locks in together. Um, I need to move around this way actually. Yeah, there we go. Locked in. Prepped and ready. Rotate this, lock that in, rotate that, put that in there. Move around here like so. Alright, so the whole purpose of um, of this Union Jack in the first place is when they go to spawn, I want them to be pushed out away from the spawner, and it's to protect the spawner as well. But yeah, it's slightly centered, uh, slightly off centered, but that that's totally fine as long as they don't at attack the spawner. Um, it is slightly a concern too because if you're too far to one side, they can spawn outside your outside walls. So just getting it as close as you can to the center as possible, um, that's gonna help you in the long run. Um, but yeah, usually I take three stacks of wood um, to do this to start off with. This technique is mainly for um, to gather resources. As you guys know, it's it's my my way of farming. Like you could probably do this in like early game. It'll be great to help with your base building. And then what I want to do next is just pickaxe down and not to hit the walls. There we go. Um, and then try and make it as straight as possible. But yeah, we're, we're going to make like a little trench as well on the outside. Um, because when the great ores go to die, um, all their loot will, will just drop down to the outside of the walls where we're going to be inside the trench. Um, so now we're just going to put down some campfires. Try and line it up perfectly. And this part's pretty important too, because we're going to have some parts that hang out, um, as you'll see later on. So we'll just make sure this is nice and lined up, in place. This nice and in the corner, nice and lined up. 
and place. And then we're just going to keep placing. Alright, now I just want to close off this wall. Um, and then, now all that side's done, we can get rid of the enemies. And then do the same thing. We're going to place campfires where the enemies are, where the great ores are. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter where they... Uh, what spawns, whether it's uh, shamans or brutes. But yeah, since I dug out a bit earlier, I can just place this down here. It's a bit wonky, but it, it should be alright. should be okay. Now, as you can see on the right, we had a grey dwarf that spawned. And he's, he just instantly died from the fire. So it's going to be a bit framey doing this as well. Um, mind you, I do have an i5 PC, so... Um, anything anything that's too much on the screen, like too much smoke, too much enemies, it's just going to lag up the computer. Let's get rid of him. Dig up the ground. And then place campfire. And put the wall down. Like a soul. So yeah, I've, I've tried to place campfires as, uh, as flush as possible. Let's just break the wall and smack them in the face. Go. Pickaxe down one more time. And place one more campfire. Because we've pickaxed... We're pickaxed down. What we can do is, well, actually I need to get rid of these walls. See, they're gonna get stuck inside the walls like that, so as soon as as soon as soon um, I release the walls like this, they get pushed out straight onto the campfire straight away, and they drop their loot. And then they're just gonna keep spawning. Yeah, do be careful of, um, do be careful of the smoke. Just keep an eye on your health. And be prepared, because sometimes there might be trolls that 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 come up and ninja behind you. Because this is the Black Forest, by the way. This is usually where you find uh, these kind of spawners uh, for Grey Dwarfs. We got one guy stuck here, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna sort that out a bit later. Two guys. <laughs> um, now they're gonna get stuck like this, but um, it's gonna get a bit messy. You can tidy tidy it up um, to make it look more presentable if you want to, but yeah, I'm just showing you guys a brief, just a uh, brief summary of like what's going on here. This is all resources that you're getting right now, so you don't have to build the trench on the outside. This is what I mean. You can just run around if you want to, but there there is going to be items that's going to be near the center, and you can't reach. Um, hence why we're going to be building a trench around the outside as well. Come on, come on, don't think about the consequences if you want it. Come on, come on, don't worry about the aftermath, we know it's coming, but... Come on, come on, maybe it says it's all we need just for a minute Just for a minute, yeah I need it like a vice, got me hooked, I cannot lie I tell you every time that we'll make it alive Come on, come on, don't think about the consequences if you want it, yeah Too close to the edge, we're gonna crash and burn You think that by now Probably should have learned We're no good to get Honestly, we know So hold me close We're going sideways We're going sideways 
So now I'm going to show you guys why you don't put a chimney on top, right over the top of the spawner. Now the reason why we don't put a roof over the top of the spawner is because it prevents uh, the grey dwarfs from actually spawning. Um, so they actually need sunshine to spawn. So we're just going to go ahead and destroy these roofs. I'm um, just right in the center, it's just the ones over the top of the campfires that we need all right now we're just gonna try and get rid of this little douche because he seems to be wedged in there quite nicely so we're just gonna uh oh uh <laughs> whoops <laughs> remember that time that i said um we don't want to destroy the spawner so we need to be very careful of where we shoot um, shooting from the side is probably the best option. Not trying to shoot over the top like that. This is one of those moments. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. No, it's not really. We're gonna go now. We're gonna go and have to look for another spawner. God dang it. Alright, please hold. <laughs> so, here's a little something I prepared earlier. <laughs> like I said. Uh, once we get rid of the roofs on top of the spawner, then we should have great off spawning. Yeah, I made this one a bit earlier, um, because I did a lot of testing and a whole bunch of different designs of great great off farms. Um, this is just one of many that I prepared earlier. Um, it was just today that I realized that it was the um the ceiling over over the spawner that was preventing them from spawning. But now if we go around to my other attempts <laughs> and destroy the walls or destroy the ceilings over the top of the spawners, we should be good to go.
Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed the content. Um, if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe and share it to your friends too if you want to and <laughs> nudge nudge. Um, but yeah, to see more content in the later future because I'm going to be sharing with you guys on YouTube other ways you can farm other creatures in Valheim. Um, and if you want to see more Valheim content as well, um, feel free to come hang out with me and the family on twitch.tv forward slash fly underscore diggity. Um, once again, thank you so much to SamSquanch007. Um, I will leave his link in the description below as well. A um, really good friend of mine, he was the reason that I came up with this farm. He came up with the concept. I kind of went a bit crazy on it. <laughs> so yeah, go and give him a like, go and give him a follow. I'm going to give him some love. Alright, until next time fam, I'll see you then. Peace.